Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to create modded weapons and shields and stuff like that for Borderlands 2. I've made a previous video on this before, uh, but I feel like I didn't do the best on it, so why not remake it? One of the things you're gonna be needing is Borderlands 2 Save Editor, link will be in description. You can do the exact same thing with Borderlands Pre-Sequel, that save editor will be in the description. They work exactly the same, it's just I'm gonna be using Borderlands 2 for today. So, first things first, load up the game. I'll see you guys there. Alright, so now that you guys are inside the game, just go and find a gun. It can be any gun, you can find it on the ground, you can buy one. For now, I'm just going to be buying one, because it's the easiest way. Uh, as you guys can see, requirement level 20, which is really bad. Uh, I'll just use this submachine gun. So, now that you guys have bought or found a weapon, go to your inventory and equip that weapon that you just got, which was this one for me. I'll put it in my fourth slot. So. That is a dire part, make sure you equip it, it's going to make things easier up the road. And yeah, so once you equip your weapon, just exit out of the game. I'll see you guys at the menu. Alright guys, we are now at the home. So what we're going to be doing here is going into the save editor, click on the file, go to bin, then go to gibbed borderlands 2 save edit. The picture will be handsome jack. Just go ahead and open it, and the first thing that's going to pop up is this screen. Go to open, and a bunch of numbers will pop up. If this does not pop up for you immediately, just go to your documents, my games, Borderlands 2, Willow game, then save data. And that's where these numbers will be located at. Click on the numbers, and your saves will pop up. Your saves will be in order from the last one you created to the first one you created. So I'm going to be using my Mechromancer, which will be my first save. And you will be able to tell if you messed up by sh your class right here. It's going to show you what character you're playing as. And yeah, uh, so if you really want your guns to do a lot of damage, just make your experience level 1001. Make your overpower level 10 and boost up your skill points to the max. Everything else doesn't really matter. You can switch your head and skin down here. So now that we've uh, done all that, just go to your backpack. And as you guys can see, it shows the equipped slots. And the gun that I bought was the Stabilizing Projectile Convergence. So click on it. It's going to pop up all its attributes and body parts, stuff like that. If you made your character level 1001, overpower level 10, then switch this to 90. So I'll switch it to 90. If you guys did not switch your character level and just make it level 72, I believe, is the max level or whatever character level uh, that you're at. So once you do that, just hit enter. And it is now level 90, basically overpower level 10. And this is where the modded part comes in to make it look all cool and stuff. <clears throat> Go to your body, your grip, barrel, sight, stock, all this stuff. Click the drop down arrow. You can make invisible weapons by selecting none on all of them. Or you can make your weapons look unique by having one or two body parts on. So I'll get rid of the body and we'll go with the sight. Just click none. We'll do the stock too. So now when I load up, it's just going to be a grip and a barrel. Down here is a material. This is also a cool part. If you guys were looking at all my weapons, how they were gray and purple, if you want yours to look like that, select none on the material. If you do not want it to look like that, then just keep it how it is. So I'll click none to make it look gray and purple. Then prefix and title is just the name of the weapon. This you do not have to change if you do not want to. It's kind of confusing uh, at first. So yeah, I'm not going to mess with that. 
because I just want to show you guys how to mod weapons right now. Uh, so once you do all this stuff up here, the type is just... It, you don't need to mess with this, it will mess up the gun and probably delete it from your inventory. Right here, the balance is just um, different versions of the weapon. I would recommend just leaving that how it is. Then the manufacturer is just... It, it will probably just pop up one. Uh, so once you do that, all of this stuff, you can go up here and click save. Then exit out of the save editor and load back up Borderlands 2. I'll see you guys there. Alright guys, we are back in Borderlands 2. Um, I didn't realize, but I accidentally added the stock to the weapon. So, they will, it will appear with the stock, and here it is. Sometimes the name will change to just submachine gun or like pistol, for example. As you guys can see, this one's just pistol, sniper rifle, shotgun. So, it might just change the name to submachine gun, which is also why I don't bother with like the prefix and the title and stuff like that. So, there it is in my inventory. Let's equip it and see how it does. As you guys can see, this is what it looks like. It kind of looks like a purple nail gun for some reason. I don't know. So, usually if you uh, modify it in a certain way, the aiming will be weird and you'll like aim through your weapon. So, you shoot it. And as you can see, this gun's pretty basic. You can switch that with the mod, with the uh, editor. Uh, once you guys get better at it and stuff, look at some more tutorials on how to do it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you make uh, modded looking weapons in Borderlands 2. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope I helped out. Peace.